Hey YouTubers, in the last video I was sort of discussing um, a certain unconventional method of fertilizing a garden. Um, there's reading about this sort of thing is all well and good, um, but basically experimentation is uh, the key. Now, I hope I don't really gross anybody out. <laughs> Uh, but I had an old garden box that I've had soil in it for, geez, since 2007. And that soil was like really depleted, and it still is. And basically at the end of this, at the beginning of next year in spring, when the compost in the, these two composting tomato planters is, uh, is ready, um, I will then replace that soil with... Uh, with these com with this compost and then I'll bring that garden uh, bed or that planter up just as well as my lettuce planter over there is because this lettuce planter is actually um, utilizing compost that I grew in uh, 2000 2000 well anyway last summer <laughs> the summer before this one uh, and then all winter it continued to compost even after the tomato plants had died back and uh, <clears throat> and then the resulting compost is in that planter and they are growing me good salad there. Now I am also experimenting on uh, on uh, using nitrogen fixing uh, alfalfa plants as sort of a symbiotic thing to help build soil while I'm gardening with it. So it's quite possible this compost will last a while if I keep adding organic matter onto the surface of the soil in like a natural forest uh, or a natural plains setting. Um, but basically, uh, let's get to my experiment. Um, I don't want you guys to, to be wasting a lot of time waiting for me to gross you out. Okay, here is a diagram of the planter with the depleted soil which I'm going to throw away so nobody freak out on me. Um, and I performed a experiment using two applications of this uh, high nitrogen fertilizer that we, were, uh, that we were discussing. And it was diluted about 10 or 15 to 1 and applied on half of the depleted uh, planter. And the alfalfa plants are all through here. And then the other half I did not apply it. And sure enough, two weeks later, or a week and a half later, I got an explosive growth um, on the uh, side where it was applied. And now, uh, don't start thinking I'm going to share anything that's growing out of this with neighbors or anything, or even significantly use any of it myself, except for as like a mulch. But uh, you can... Uh, be assured that this does actually work as soon as I show you the planter. Now I'm talking about it in here and I don't want any of my neighbors to overhear me because they think I'm strange enough as it is. I mean they all like me but they think I'm unusual. <laughs> Imagine that. I'll show you the planter. Okay, as you can see, the side where the um, fertilizer was applied is uh, growing like at three times the size of the other side. So that is definitely, you know, I was kind of afraid somehow I got some Roundup contamination or something in there, but because I put some topsoil in there uh, last year and nothing grew. Uh, I think the truth is that it's just very depleted soil and uh, it's just really lacking in nitrogen and nutrients. So I'm going to throw that soil away and um, replace it with the compost that I'm growing right now. In fact, I've got fungus and mycelium growing in probably, the, probably both of them, but certainly that one because I saw the mushrooms. And uh, basically... Uh, 
I'll have good compost and I won't have to pay a thing for it and uh, it's good practice for when I uh, have my own place. Now don't start thinking by the way that my window is really dirty there's just some kind of crystalline buildup or something inside in between the two panes of glass here. Looks kind of bad. I might have to replace this door. Okay, but in any case, there you are. That is the ex a successful experiment with unconventional, unconventionally acquired high nitrogen fertilizer. So, if I have any subscribers left, <laughs> uh, I'll see you next video. Later. <laughs>